Peruan saranai silu benatam. Good evening all. Namo Buddhaya. Very warm welcome to regular Saturday evening. Dhammadana blessing program. Today is a special day that we all celebrate. The Poson full moon day. This whole month, we celebrate the Poson, but last uh, when, uh, Thursday, we had the actual full moon day. So therefore, we celebrate the full moon today as we get the opportunity, time to practice properly on this Vesa Poson full moon for a day. Poson full moon Hoya day celebrates the most important event of propagation of the teachings of the Buddha, sending nine types of missionaries into the other parts of the world, particularly to Sri Lanka, we received the best of that missionary. So therefore, we are so happy that we are so lucky, our culture, our lives, our education, our spiritual practice are being for over 25 centuries, 2,500 years, being well supported with this uh, noble gift of Dhamma that we received on the full moon day in the month of June, we call on full moon day. That was by that time 236 years after the Buddha's passing away. Still, there were a lot of highly spiritual enlightened monks and even a lot of people gained the highest spiritual blessings by listening to the Dhamma. Still, we are in this era of the Buddha's time we are so lucky that we will still have the opportunity to gain that highest blessing. By performing meritorious deeds like this, Dhamma Dana, sharing of Dhamma is the highest form of Dana. Today, the Full Moon Day program is being very kindly sponsored by Mr. Rasika Jayavardhana, Mrs. Vipuli Jayavardhana, son Vidun, daughter Vidunya, 
and all in their family. Particularly, they would like to share these merits to their both parents, both side parents, Mr. Rasika's beloved parents, Mrs. Manel Jayavardhana, Mr. Hema Jayavardhana, also Mrs. Vipuli's beloved parents, Mrs. Harriet Jaya Gunasena, Mr. W. D. Gunasena. Um, in memory of those both sides' parents and all the departed relatives, they are sponsoring this uh, program to transfer the merits. Also, they would like to share the merits with their beloved brother, late Mr. Mahesh Jayavardhana, and all other departed relatives and friends. They would like to share the blessing with family, friends, and all. Today, this Poson Dhamma Dana is also sponsored by Mrs. Chandra Madhagama, San Chamat, San Gihan, daughter in law Kavita, grandson Aryan, and all in their family. They would like to share the merits with their beloved mother, grandmother, great grandmother, who passed away three months ago. Mrs. Punchikumari Ulapane, they would like to share these merits at this very special time into her good name. And also Mr. Victor and all other departed relatives and friends, may they equally share these merits. May the blessings be with all in their family for the good health and happiness. अनतुर महारातन वाहन सेला विसिंग सांसने पिरिसिंधु कोटे ये सांसने पारिशुद्ध धर्मतावे अन धर्मे लोके टे विदाहरबु दावसा ये दावसे विशेष एन मलंका वटे लेबुने ये श्रेष्ठ म धर्म कोटा आस्थिक सहा इताम वैदगत पिरिसतामाय लंका वटे वैदम कले ये वैदम करला लंका वे संस्कृतिये जनजीविते खलाशिल्प ग्रह निर्माण शिल्प वागे में आध्यात्मिक जीविते तुलत अप्रमाण वेनसा कैथिकरण टोना ये देनाहस पंसिय वासराक्तिस से आदर्ता अपी बुक्ति विदिनो आपे जीविते पोषणे साउभाग्य सब्यत्ते दिवन उने ये उत्तम पूरा पासलोसा कोई दिने पोषण दिने मिहित महाराहतान वाहन से के आगमन या समग्र इतने उत्तरी तरह दिने इंदं ये एवं ना कोटा बुद्ध जानन वाहन से पिरिनिवान पां देशियती सहायक को अनिवासरक गतो उन्नत एवं अविता त्रहतान वाहन से ला वागे माध्यात्मिक गुणधर्म दिवनु करेगत लबागत पिरिस विशाल वासिंग खटे एवितरक नमः उन्हाँ से लंका वटे वैदम किरी में अनतरुव पावा ए धर्मस्रवन्य किरी में तुने ए उत्तम धर्मलाभे लबागत पिरिसानंता या प्रमाणाय एबंधु उस रेष्ट दिन्याक सिहिपात करेगे न अदेतात्ते उत्तम धर्मे उपरिम पालला बाण्य टकुलवां बुद्ध काले क जीवत्ते नापी में पुष्ण पुरपासलो सक्वो ए � आमिस पूजा विन सेम प्रतिपत्ति पूजा विन पूजा विन खटे इतु कराने टाय आदि दावसे सूदानंग विन ये उत्तम धर्म दाने आदि दावसे पिंग का मध्य विन विन सिद्ध कराने राशि के जयवर्धन महात्मा विपुली जयवर्धन महात्मीय विदुन पुतनुआन सह विदुन न्यादिय निय अतुलुपा उलेशीलु देनाविसिं या एक बाला पुरुत्व द हरियत गुनासेन मैनियंतत एवागे म डब्ल्यूडी गुनासेन पियतुमानंतत एवागे म मानिल जयवर्धन मैनियंतत हेम जयवर्धन पियतुमानं ऐतुलु ए देपार्श्व म देमाउपियंत पिंगनुमोदन किरीमते एवागे म अभावा प्राप्त दायव दायवर सहोदर महत्मानं 
महेश जयवर्धन महात्मा तुलु मियगिय सैम दिनाटम पिंग अनुमोदन क्रीमट में पिंग कम तुलिंग बला पुरुत्वेनो इवागी म पावले सैम दिनाटम आशीर्वाद क्रीम में पिंग कमे अरमुना खेटिये टे तबागे नति बेनो अददावसे पसों धर्म देशनावल पिंग कमे दाय कात्ये दरान्ने चंद्रा मेदगम महत्मिय चमत पुतनुआन गिहान पुतनुआन खविता दियनिय मुनुब्रावन आर्यन पुतनुआन नेतुलु पावले सिरु देनाविसिन यहीं बला पुरुत्व तमाय मीड़ मास तुने कट उड़दी अभाव अप्राप्त दयाबर माउतुमिय दयाबर आत्मा दयाबर मित्तनिय सही पात करेगे न ये दयाबर मैन यंत कुंची कुमारी उल्लपने महत्मिय टे पिंगानुमोदन क्रीमत ऐतुमिय ऐतुलु विशेषे न विक्त महत्मा ऐतुलु मिय पारले वगिय सिलु दिनाम में पिंगानुमोदन व उतुम जीवन सुव शाक्षात करेगानित्वा किनादिस्तान अत्यति करेगे न अद दावसे दाय कात्ये दरन सैम दिनात्मत ओब सैम दिनात्मत में उतुम धर्मदान में पिन पोषण पुरपासल सक्षो दिने निमिति करेगे न सिद्ध करेन उतुम आशीर्वाद धर्मदान ये सियलु यहाँ पत सनसिल निरोगी भावे पिनी समवेवा किन प्रार्थना अति करेगे न अब फंसिल समाधान वेमिंग तुनुरुआन वंदना करेमिंग बुद्ध वंदना व बोधि पूजा व प्रथमेन सिद्ध करेनो अनतुरुव सिंहल धर्मानुसासना व पावतनुला बेनो अनतुरुव सेत्रित देशना वेन पासुव इंग्रीसी धर्म देशना व इंग्रीसी धर्म देशना वेन अनतुरुव लमाइंगे धाम पासेलत में समग्र में फैलतेनो एवागे में अवसान ये दिखेटी भावना वैदसत्थान की में पिंका में अवसान करनु लाबनो में उदार पिंका में संधाद दावसे विहार स्थाने देने ते वैदसिती ने गाओरोवनीय स्वामीन वहाँ से ला मायताम गाओरोवेन पिलिगानु लाबनो आचार्य सिंगापुरवे सुमन सिरनाय कहाँ दुरान वहाँ से एवागे में दिक्कवले सील सुमन पंडित हाँ � गौरवनीय स्वामीन वहाँ से लापिली गाने में अपिहम दिनाम पिंग कमारम बकराने टाई बलापुरत्वेनी। Today we are going to celebrate the Poson Full Moon Days with the spiritual practice. First we will observe the five precepts and pay our homage to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. There after there will be a short sermon in Singhala. And then some chanting of protection blessings. Thereafter, there is an English Dhamma sermon. Then there will be the in, uh, children's Dhamma program. Ended with few minutes of meditation. Now, to observe, to pay our homage and respect, please say Namo Tassa to observe the high precepts. Namo Tassa Bhagavatu Arhatu Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavatu Arhatu Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavatu Arhatu Samma Sambuddhasa Uddhaṁ saranaṁ gacchāmi Uddhaṁ saranaṁ gacchāmi Ammaṁ saranaṁ gacchāmi Dhammaṁ saranaṁ gacchāmi Dhammaṁ saranaṁ gacchāmi Sangam Saranam Gachami Yampi Buddham Saranam Gachami Dutti Yampi Buddham Saranam Gachami Yampi Dhamma Saranam Gachami Dutiyam pi dhammang saranam gachami. Dutiyam pi sanghang saranam gachami. 
Tatiampi Tatiampi dhammang saranang gacchami Tatiampi sanggang saranang gacchami Tatiampi Samadhyami Panati Pata Vermani Sikapadam Samadhyami Adinna Dana Vermani Sikapadam Samadhyami Adinna Dana Vermani Sikapadam Samadhyami Pami Sumichachara Vermani Sikha Padang Samadhyami Kami Sumichachara Vermani Sikha Padang Samadhyami Savada Vermani Sikha Padang Samadhyami Musavada Vermani Sikapadam Samadhyami Ramiraya Majjapama Dattana Vermani Sikapadam Samadhyami Surami Rayamajipama Dattana Vermani Sikapadam Samadhyami Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Me vela vedi api, silu denatam, ashirwad karaming, me utum pura pasava sat poson poho dinia sihipat karaming, tunuruan vandana karaming, locatat apahama denatam, silu denatam, silu sanasil, nirogi bhave, salaseva, kin adishtaning, tunuruan vandana, sit the karamu. Now let us pay our homage to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha with the aspiration at this time of difficulty may all on this full moon day in the month of June Poson Poya be a great blessing to all of us for the good health, protection and happiness. Bearing this in our heart, let us pay our homage to the Buddha Dhamma Sangha together. Namu tasse bhagavatu arahato samma sambuddhasse Namu tasse bhagavatu arahato samma sambuddhasse Namu tasse bhagavatu arahato samma sambuddhasse Itti piso bhagava arham samma sambundo vijyacharele sampanno sugato loka vidu Anottaro purisadam sarati santa deva manusanam Bundo Bhagavati Bundang Jeevitang Yavanimbanam Saranam Gachami Swapkato Bhagavata Dhammo Sandhintiko 
महाकालिको एहि पसिको ओपनाइको वंदनं वेदितबो विन्युनेति नमः जीवितं यावनिम्बनं सरनं गच्छामि सुपाति पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो जो पाति पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो न्याय पाति पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो सामीची पाति पन्नो भगवतो सावक संगो यदि दंचा तारी पुरीस युगानि अंत पुरीस उंगला ऐस भागवतो सावक संगो आहुने यो पाहुने यो दक्षिने यो अंजलि करनि यो अनुत्तरं पुण्यं केतं लोकसाति संगं जीवितं यावनिम्बनं सर्वनंगच्छामि वंदामि चेति अम्सबं सब्बतानि सुपतिन्दितं सारीरिकदातु महाबोधिं बुद्धरूपं सकलं सर्वयस्मूले निसिं नोवे संभारी विजयं पंतो सबं युतं सत्ता वंदे तं बोधिपादं इमे इति महाबोधि लोकनाथे न पूजिता अहं पिते नमस्सामी बोधिराजा नमन धन सारपदिते न दीपे न तमलं सिना इलोक दीपं संबुद्धं पूजयामि तमोनुदं गंध संभार युद्धे न दोपे न हम सुगंधिना पूजये पूजनीयं तं पूजा भाजन मुत्तमं वन्ने गंध गुनो पेतं एतं कुसुम संततिं पूजयामि मुनिं दश सिपाद सरोरुए पूजे मि बुद्धं कुसुमेन नेर पुन्येन मेते लाभामि मुखं पं मिलायाति अतायदमि कायो ततायाति विनाशवं सुगंधं सीतलं कपं पसन्नमधुरं सुबं पानीरमितं भगवापतिगं आतुतनं अधिवासे तुनो भंते गिलान पच्चं इमं अनुकंपं उपादाय पतिगं आतुतनं अधिवासे तुनो भंते संबं सदाय भुजितं अनुकंपं उपादाय पतिगं आतुतनं आयन वाचाचिते न पमादे न मायाकतं अच्छं कम्मि भंते भूरि पन्ने तथागत आयन वाचाचित 
Now we are moving into the Sinhala Dhamma sermon, which will take place about 15 minutes. During that time, I encourage you to practice some meditation and listening to the Dhamma. Mevilavadi Sinhala Dharma Anusasana Apatthana Lesa Maitama Gaurave Naradhana Karasitina Matara Dikwella Vavuru Kannala Budraja Mahavihara Sthani Vidyatunga Pirivene Parivenadi Patiwase in Kate Tukala Then at the Berlin Baudha Vihari Anusasi Pawase in Kate Tukarana Apa Vihara Sthani Vada Sitina Ati Gauravaniya Dikwele Sila Sumana Pandit Hamduran Vaham Sete Maradana Kar Sitinoa Hamadinama Aradana Kiri Makwasin a person put a parcel of Sakuho Dinian Nimit and Sidu Karena Dharmadana may think Kamatara than Akima was saying Sadukara Pavat coming Dharmastra when a Karan Namutas Bagutu Arahatu Samma Sambuddhas Gaurunia Andra Nansa Dudarwini Demapiani අද අපේ මාතුකාව පොසොන් පොහේ සාසනික වැදගත්කම පිළිබඳව ශ්‍රී ලාංකිකයන් නැටියට ඉතාම වැදගත් උතුම් පොහේ දිනය පොසොන් පොහේ ඒ පොසොන් පොහේ සීපත් වෙනකොට අපට සීපත් වන්නේ අනුබුදු මීදු මාහිමියන් Sri Lanka to Adam Vima Emi Duma Imian Bedaima Samaga Singular Pout the Sanskutia Agamika Ansain Navaparivartana Susesi Sandistan about Patuna Eposondini Emi Duma Imian Andunani Deepa Pasadaka Midu Maimian Kela Anubudu Kela Kern, Deveni Budukene Kuha Samanai Unan Se Deepa Pasada Kern, Devena Prasade at Patkarapu Rahatan Nan Se Kinikatiatai Midu Maratan Nan Se Andunan Sri Lankika 
जन समाज समाज सांस्कृतिक वगेम आगमिक वसेन आध्यात्मिक वसेन पोषण पोहे दिल पोषण पोहे दिन तुल पोषण पोहे निशा सुविशेषी सिद्धुम रहस्य सिद्धौना विशेषेन ये पोषण पोहे सांस निकवासेन करुण की प्यक निशा वेदगत नो हेम प्रधान करुण तमाय मीधुमा रातन वे प्रमुख ये धर्म दूत कांडायपुर लंकादीपे बुद्ध शासने पीटे हुए ये कारण अतिरेक ये बुधवाद्रो बुद्ध शिव सती उपासक महान विला उपसंपदा तमाय लगदीव प्रथम महान उपसंपदा हेटीट सेल के मीधु आम दुरो श्रीलंका श्रीलंका द्वीप वीमेन पास हेडगसी नोति बीच संस्कृति विधिमत्ता गृह निर्माण शिले प्रधान बौद्धागम गलपीन कला संप्रदाय लाकि जनता वे यहाँ पत संधा ये वह हेला बस टे परिवर्तन ये करो बाव बुद्ध को समाय में अन प्रकाश कर लती है सिंगल बात साव आश्रय करके ने साहित्य में संप्रदाय कारण बकला वाके में ये आशोक होड़ी आश्रय लेकन संप्रदाय ऐतिकरण ने टट प्रोग्राम यूनी विशिष्ट कार्य करवाध्यापन क्रमे क्रमेम श्रीलंका <coughs> 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 
दक्षिण सहकुणात्मक वंदना जनता आगमिक आर्थिक सामाजिक परिसर विशेष धर्मे प्रचार कर धर्मे विशेष महा अट्टकता महा अटुआ एवगेम कुरुंदी अट्टकता मिया दिवस एवं संपादने किरीम निशा श्रीलांकिक जनता के धर्म ज्ञाने वर्ध ने उना किनिक अपट पहदली वेन पाली भाषा वेन देशना करपु ए बुद्ध देशनाव अद दक्काम आरक्षा विलातीन ने विचुन्वान से विषय 
ुद्धागमुनेंद्रो श्रीलंका दीपेट वेडमेवी में पासे श्रीलंका वटे विविध कला सिल्प सांस्कृतिक अंग मूली के पदने वटुने सांस्कृतिक अंग वटे मूली के पदने वटुने मीधु हाम दरंगे आगम ने समग इंदीय आभासे लबुनत मेरठे टे उरुमे इच्छ कला सिल्प बिहुना वागे म श्रीलंकाश्यु विशेष प्रकट जात कथा जनता अधिष्ठान हेमदिनाटम तेरवान सरण साधु 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 एव तुम पसंदपुर पासल सकुहो दिन धर्मानुशासनाव पवक्तन लभुए मातर दिक्वल वैवरु कन्नल बुद्रज महाविहार स्थाने विद्या तुंग पिरिवने परिवेनादि पतिवसेन खाते तुकल बर्लिन बौद्ध विहारे अनुशासक वासेन खटे तो करने अति गौरवनीय दिक्वेले सील सुनने पंडित हाम द्रोण वाहन से अददावसे पिंग का में दाए खाते आरागे ने खटे तो कराने तासिक जायवर्धन महात्मा विपुली जायवर्धन नौना महात्मिय विदुन पुतनुआन विदुन्या पुतनुए दियनिया थलु पावले सिल देनाम विशेषे आशीर्वादी भाव आरक्षा मिटमासुनकोड़ी अभाव प्राप्त 
දෙක්ත මහත්මා ඇතුළු සියලුම මියගිය සෑම දිනාටම මේ පින් අනුමෝදන් වේවා යෑගේ සසර ගමන සුවපත් වේවා කියන ප්‍රාර්ථනා ඇති කරගෙන මේ උතුම් ධර්ම දාන මේ පින් කමේ පින් අනුමෝදන් කරනු ලබනවා ධර්ම දාන මේ පින් කම සිදු කරපු ගෞරවණීය ස්වාමීන් වහන්සේටත් මේ ආශිර්වාද ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරමින් නිදුක් නිරෝගී භාවය ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරමින් සිංහල ධර්ම දේශනාව නිමාවට පත් වෙන ලැබෙනවා හැම දිනාටම තෙරුවන් සරණයි සාදු 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 මේ වෙලාවේදී අපි සෙත් පිරිත් දේශනාවක් සිද්ධ කරන්නටයි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ now we are going to make a special chanting of blessing to all of you नमो तस् भगवतु वरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतु वरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतु वरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् यानी धबुतानि समा दिवाचर सुदम्मा जयता भवती सकाय दि 
ti vici kicci tance si lamba tang va piya danti kinci chatu ha pae hicca vimpa mundo caca bitana niya bambu katun idang pisangge rakenam panitang etena saccena suanti oto manap perumbe ata pusse tangge Gimale masi pate mas ning gimi Tatu pemang dam warang ade sai nimba nega ming pare man itai Itang pi bundi rate nam pani tang ete na lache na suanti oto Waro warang yo ware do wara haro anu tero dam warang Adesai Itang pibundi Rata nang panitang Ete na zace Na suanti hotu Kinang puranan Nawan nati Sambawang Miranda cinta Ayati ke bawas Ninti kina bija Avirulit canda Nimbang Tidirayatayang Padipo Itang Pisangge rata nang panitang ete na sanje na suanti hotu yani debu tani samagatani bumma niva ya niva antalinke tatagatang dev manusa puji tang bundan namasa suat Tiyoto Yani dhagutani samagatani Bumma nivaya nivantalinke Tatagatan deva manusa pujitang Dhammang namasam suanti hotu Yani dhagutani samagatani Bumma nivaya nivantalinke Tatagatan deva Deva manusya bujitan sanggang namasam suwati otu Ete na satya vajjena sotti te otu sabda Ete na satya vajjena sambaro vo vinasatu Ete na satya vajjena otu te jaya mungalam Haraniya mat Kusale na yantan santang padang abisamecce Sakko ujucce sujucce suacco chasse mundu anati mani Santusse koce subaroce Ambe kinchoce salle uke hundi Santindrioce nipe koce Ambe lambo kule suana nukindo Nece kuce Kundan samachari kinjie na vinyu pare upavade yon sukino vake minontu sambe santa bhavantu sukitanta Yeke chipana bhutanti tasavata vrava anavase sati gava e mahantava majjima Rasakanukatula Dinta vayeva adinta Yeche dure vasanti avidure Muta vasamba vesiva Sambe santa bhavantu kitanta Naparo parangi kumbheta Nati manjeta kanta tiram kanchi Nyaro sana pati Tiga sanya nanya manat dukkha mitcheya mata yata niyang puntang ayusai ka 
ಮನುರಂಗೇವಿ ಸಪ್ತೂತು ಮಾನಸಂಭಾವೇಪರಿಮಾನ ಮೆತ್ತಂಚ ಸಪ್ತಲೋಕಸ್ಮಿನ್ಮಾನಸಂಭಾವೇಪರಿಮಾನ ಅನುಪಗಮಶೀಲವಾದಸನ ಿತಿ ಮತಿ ತೇಜೋ ಜಯ ಸಿಂಧಿ ಮಹಿಂದಿ ಮಾಗುಣ ಅಪರಿಮಿತ ಪುಣ್ಯಾಧಿಕಾರ ಸಂಬಂಧರಾಯ ನಿವಾರಣ ಸಮಂತ ಭಗವತೋ ಸಮ್ಮ ಸಂಬುಂದ ಸಿಂಸ ಮಹಾಪುರಿ ಸಕ್ಕನುಭಾವೇನ ಅಸೀತ್ಯಾನು ವ್ಯಂಜನ ಲಕ್ಕನುಭಾವೇನ ಅಂಟುತ್ತರ ಸತ ಮಂಗಲ ಲಕ್ಕನಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಚಂಬನ್ನರಂಶ್ಯಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಕೇತುಮಾಲಾನುಭಾವೇನ ದಸ ಪಾರಮಿತಾನುಭಾವೇನ ದಸ ಉಪ ಪಾರಮಿತಾನುಭಾವೇನ ದಸ ಪಾರಮತ್ ಪಾರಮಿತಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಶೀಲ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಪಂಚಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಬುದ್ಧಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಧಮ್ಮಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಸಂಗಾನುಭಾವೇನ ತೇಜಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಇದ್ಯಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಬಲಾನುಭಾವೇನ ನೈಯ ಧಮ್ಮಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಚತುರಾಶೀತಿ ಸಹಸ್ರಧಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಕಂದಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಪಿತಕತ್ತಯಾನುಭಾವೇನ ದಿನ ಸಾವಕಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಸಂಬೇತೆ ರೋಗ ಸಂಬೇತೆ ಭಯ ಸಂಬೇತೆ ಅಂತರಾಯ ಸಂಬೇತೆ ಉಪಂದವಾ ಸಂಬೇತೆ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಸಂಬೇತೆ ಅವ ಮಂಗಲ ವಿನ ಸಂತು ಆಯು ಅಂಡ ಕೋ ದನ ವಂಡ ಕೋ ಸಿರಿ ವಂಡ ಕೋ ಯಸ ವಂಡ ಕೋ ಬಲ ವಂಡ ಕೋ ವಂಡ ವಂಡ ಕೋ ಸುಖ ವಂಡ ಕೋ ತು ಸಬ್ದ ರೋಗ ಭಯ ವೀರ ಶೋಕ ಸಂಭೇ ಉಪಂದೇಕ ಅಂತರಾಯ ವಿನ ಸಂತು ಚೇಜಸ ಜಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಧನ ಲಾಭ ಸತ್ತಿ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಸುಖಂಬಲ ಸಿರಿಯಾಯು ವನ್ನೋ ಚೋಗ ಸತ್ವಸ ಆಯು ಜೀವ ಸಿಂಧಿ ಭವಂತು ಜಾಂದುನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಅವ ಮಂಗಲಂಚ ಯೋಚಾಮನ ಪೋ ಸಪುನಸ್ ಸಂದು ಪಾಪ ಕಹೋದುಸು ಪಿನಕಂತ ಬುದ್ಧಾನುಭಾವೇನ ವಿನಾಶ ಮಿಂತು ಜಾಂದುನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಅವ ಮಂಗಲಂಚ ಯೋಚಾ ಮನ ಪುನಂದು ಪಾಪ ಗಹೋದುಸು ಪಿನಕಂತ ಧಮ್ಮಾನುಭಾವೇನ ವಿನಾಶ ಮಿಂತು ಯಾಂದು ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಅವ ಮಂಗಲಂಚ ಯೋಚಾ ಮನ ಪೋ ಸಕುನಸ್ ಸಂದು ಪಾಪ ಗಹೋದುಸು ಪಿನಕಂತ ಸಂಗಾನುಭಾವೇನ ಶೋಕ ಪತ್ತ ನಿಶೋಕ 
commemorates the introduction of Buddhism to Sri Lanka by Arahant Mahindathir. Not only to Sri Lanka, they also send the missions to few other countries by under the patronage of Emperor Asoka of India in the third century BC. This mark the propagation of the inspirational message of the enlightened blessed one and also invaluable introduction of Buddhist culture to the whole universe. Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka particularly after 236 years later of the passing away of the Buddha. From that day onwards, it has been the national religion in Sri Lanka. At the third Buddhist council, sponsored by King Asoka, these missionaries were sent to different regions to share the teachings of the Buddha, particularly nine different countries, but among those nine different groups of missionaries, the youngest monks were sent to Sri Lanka. And uh, even the king who organized it, Emperor Soka, sent his own son, Arahant Mahindathera, with four other theaters. By that time, King Mutasiva, he was very elderly king, was ruling in Sri Lanka. However, Emperor Asoka in India had a good relationship with his second son called Tissa. Because of this relationship, even Emperor Asoka gave, gave him an honorific title, kind of an uh, honorary title called Devanam Pia, which means beloved of the gods. Therefore, King Tissa became Devanam Pia Tissa. Before Buddhism come to Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan residents were worshipping gods of nature, tree spirits, supernatural beings, cult of astrology, and so many different things. Venerable Arahat Mahinda Tera was about age 32, when he undertook the mission to Sri Lanka. 
he ordained at the age of 20 under the uh, tutelate of Mahatera Moggali Putta Tissa. He mastered the doctrines and even became Arahant where before he went to Sri Lanka. When the Buddhist council, third Buddhist council was held, uh, Arahat Mahinda Tera had been a monk for 12 years. And that uh, council took place nine months. As a result, they purified the Buddhist teachings. Venerable Arahat Mahinda Tera did not go straight away to Sri Lanka because by that time, very elderly king called Mutasiva was ruling and he thought it would not make the best fruit in Sri Lanka. So he delayed until this uh, king change. During that uh, about six month time, Arahant Mahinda Tera, while he was waiting, went to Dakkinagiri in India to visit his relatives and spent one month at Vedisagiri to visit his mother and was preaching to beloved mother to explain the benefits of the Dhamma. That is the time, during that time, the king in Sri Lanka who was very elderly, Mutasiva passed away and passed on the kingdom to his second son, Devanampyatissa. One month after Vesak, you all remember, we last month we celebrated the Vesak. In the month of this June, we come celebrate the Poson. That time, Venerable Mahinda Tera arrived in Sri Lanka, accompanied by four Teras, Ittya, Uttya, Sambala, Baddhasal. Also, another novice monk called Sumana Samanera. Sumana Samanera also a relative of Arahant Mahinda Tera. Arahant Mahinda Tera's sister's son is the Sumana Samanera, that is Sangamitta, Arahat Sangamitta's son. Also, Banduka. Uh, disciple, kind of a lay person, he was the cousin of Arahat Mahinda Tera. Normally, he came alone with five Sangha members because for an ordination, normally to establish the teachings of the Buddha, we need that amount of monks to do a Vinaya Karma. However, when they were coming, that day in Sri Lanka was a national festival. In this particular national festival, king normally take part in the hunting. So during this time, he was chasing behind a deer and he saw this strange appearance of a people that he has not seen before. In fact, he was actually forced by listening that somebody was calling by his name. Somebody was calling Tissa Tissa. He is the king. Nobody called by his name alone. He was looked around, see these strange people and ask, who are you? Then these monks were saying, we are the disciples of the Lord Buddha. I heard one of our students also last week said this gata, Samana Mayang Maharaja, Dhamma Rajasa Savaka, Taveva Anukampaya, Jambudipai Dagata. 
We are the disciples of the Lord Buddha. In compassion towards you, Maharaja, great king, we have come here from India. <coughs> However, king was so happy, but Arahant Mahinda Tera did not straight away to preach the Dhamma. He wanted to first check his intelligence. How wise enough this king to understand the teachings. That was the first recorded even conversation or intelligent text, IQ text, test took place in the history. As Sri Lankans, we have quite a few to be proud of in our 2,500 years old history that no other place been such heritage that we can be proud of. Even after the arrival of Mahinda Tera, they built stories, buildings, story buildings, and they built a big pagodas, which are even wonders of the world, monuments of architecture in the most ancient history. So therefore, there is a huge aspect took place in the spiritual powers on this full moon day in the month of June Poson to make sure that the king was intelligent enough. Tera, Arad Mahinda Tera, asked a few questions. He was solving the directing and pointing to a tree, asked the name of that tree. So the king said, it's a mango tree. Then this uh, Tera asked, Arahant Tera asked, is there another mango tree beside this? Then the king replied, there are many mango trees. Are there any trees other than this mango tree or other, tree, other mango trees? Then the king said, there are many trees, sir, but they are not mango trees. You can see the intelligent conversation. They had instantly to understand how capable. Then uh, Mahatera asked, are there beside other mango trees, these trees which are not mango trees, yet other tree? Then the king said, there is, that is this mango tree. Then the Mahatera Mahinda, I realized that king is intelligent enough to understand this Dhamma. Not only that important thing, he also emphasized a great message of environment. Environment is a very important thing because Buddha was born in the, under a tree, was enlightened under a tree, and even passed away under a tree. So even when you think of that we are, this Dhamma was brought into Sri Lanka, it was a mango grove. So everywhere, so that the Buddhism give a due respect to the environment. Environment does not necessarily mean the trees or the waterfalls or rivers. It also has a big part of birds, animals that we need to respect. Even the Mahatera's father, King Emperor Asoka, had this concept. He was putting signpost in India not to harm any animals. Even he was building hospitals for animals. That was a very special thing. I think from his father, he had this in addition to Buddhism. So, uh, one of the message given by Mahatera Arahant Mahinda to King, saying, King, the birds of the air and the beast on earth have equal right to live and move about in any part of this land as you are. The land belongs to the people and all other beings. You are only the guardian, only the ruler of that. You are not the owner of it. So let us respect to the freedom of all living beings, live and let live. This was a 
very special message given by the Arahat Mahinda Tera to advise the king about how we need to be ruling the countries, how moral we need to be. From that onwards, from that point, Arahat Mahinda Tera went on explaining very important discourses. He started explaining Chullahatti Padopama Sutta to the Blessed One. This particular Sutta, Chullahatti Padopama Sutta, explained very beautifully a conversation between a Brahman a person called Jan Soni and an ascetic called Pilotika. The Pilotika, ascetic Pilotika, wanted to explain how the Buddha is. Ascetic Pilotika wanted to explain how the Buddha is so that king has a great understanding about uh, Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha and also all other aspects of teachings. So in this particular discourse, Chullahati Padopama Sutta, Arahant Mahindatera explained about all the aspects of Sadda, the faith, Sila, the morality, and also meditation. Particularly in the meditations, he was explaining about even absorptions, jhanas, deep levels of development. Pratamadhyana, Dutyadhyana, Trutyadhyana, Chaturutadhyana, and also explaining the abilities to understand the previous lives of others, what happens when we passed away, and all these things were explained very beautifully and very briefly so that the king can get a good understanding about the all aspect of the teachings. As a result, they were so happy and then Arhant Mahinda Tera went on explaining further discourses called Petavattu. Petavattu explained when people were doing uh, unwholesome things called akusal or bad things, how they were being reborn in lower realm. And then Vimanavattu, to encourage the people to put them into good, uh, doing good, he explained the benefits and the consequences of doing good. He explained how the divine beings are being born into those higher realms by doing wholesome meritorious activity. Also further, he explained Deva Dutta Sutta, Satcha Samyutta, Bala Pandita Suttas, and so many things. As a result, King and so many people attain a lot of higher spiritual development. And even some of them became monks. There was a great request from uh, women, ladies who wanted to come into the order and become nuns. Then Arahat Mahinda Tera sent a special missionary asking his father, Emperor Asoka, to get that necessary facilities to ordain the women in Sri Lanka. As a result, Emperor Asoka sent his daughter, who was an Arahant Sangha Mitta, to Sri Lanka. And it took about nine days. They sailed from India to here as a gift. Emperor Asoka sent a special sapling of the Bodhi tree. Even to date, over 2,300 years, that old tree still exists the sacred tree still exists in India. Together with that, so many of uh, skilled people came to look after the Bodhi tree and also support the uh, people and the culture in this country. And they built a lot of reservoirs, they built a lot of uh, stupas, pagodas, and established the order of nuns. Queen Anula and other 500 women 
became monks, nuns, and they were even later, at the 5th century AD, they even sent nuns to China to establish their nunnery order. Later on, Devanam Piyatis asked Venerable Rarahat Mahinda Tera, is the Buddhism being established now? He said, no, it needs to be established a Sima. Sima means a special place for chanting the discipline. So the king organized that established Sima, that special discipline chanting place, and then encouraged the monks to practice that discipline became monks, that way they were established firmly the teachings of the Buddha in the land of Sri Lanka. After that, King was asking, it would have been nice, very good for us to have some relics to worship the Lord Buddha. So Arahant Mahinda Tera sent a special group of people, especially the, uh, King Devanam Piyatissa, sent his nephew, uh, who became a monk later called Aritta, to India to bring some relics of the Buddha. So they brought the special collarbone relic of the Buddha and built a first stupa called Tuparama in Anuradhapura in Sri Lanka that was also took place because of this Poson full moon poya day. Art and architecture, not only that, even the writing and scripts. By that time, there was no record in Sri Lanka before Arhat Mahinda Tera. There was a system of literature or writings. He introduced those Brahmi uh, uh, language and then also translated teaching into Sri Lankan language called Singhala. So that was also well benefited the art and literature writing and scripts were benefited from this uh, coming of Arahat Mahinda Tera. In addition, they also established agriculture, irrigation, and other developments. So therefore, we can't really undermine the great service rendered by Arahat Mahinda Tera and also Arahat Sangamitta Tera. Therefore, as Sri Lankans, we are always in debt to their great service and we take this opportunity for bringing us that prestige, noble teachings of the Buddha so that we all can benefit from it and also ensuring that the noble teachings of the Buddha will last for 5,000 years. And even for today, we are having that great benefit of getting the noble teachings because of this full moon day in the month of June, Poson Poya, because of this Emperor Asoka, because of this uh, Tera, Arahat Mahinda Tera and Arahat Sangamitta Tera. So therefore, let us take their great example. <coughs> they gave up everything and they went into the teachings. They became really practiced learn very well all the teachings, suttas, vinayas, and abhidhammas, and became so powerful in that. And then they started the mission to share the dhamma called Dhamma Dana, highest dhana. And may this full moon day poson be the great blessing for all of you. May this Dhamma Dana be a great blessing for the sponsors of the day, and may the aspirations be fulfilled. May all be well and happy. With that, I will conclude my reflection on the Poson Full Moon Day significances. May you all be well and happy. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you very much for joining. Now we finish our first part of the program. I will now pass on to our Rasikaya to go ahead with the Dhamma School program. Selam Hamdurun Vanchalagin Namasrai.
Teruan Saranai Chele Vidyanata. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this second day of Possum Poya celebrations. And we discussed again the uh, benefits of introducing Buddhism to Sri Lanka. And both uh, Hamadhuru mentioned how Sri Lankans were hugely benefited after introducing Dhamma or Buddhism to Sri Lanka. What it did was it stimulated the intellectual values of the people of Sri Lanka. And it was needed at that time because people were kind of lost how to worship, what to worship with a clear objective. So after introducing this Buddha's teachings, mainly people started practicing metta, karuna, mudita, which helped the society to progress towards prosperity. And Hamdulu mentioned lots of examples how we prosper after this introduction of Buddhism in Sri Lanka. So we all know the benefits and how they also said that people are still enjoying these benefits even now. That is why we as Sri Lankans, even though we are living away from Sri Lanka, we still know the huge benefits that brings to our lives the teaching of Dhamma. And that is why we have set up this Dhamma school to educate our children, to pass on to them the same values to their lives in order to direct their lives into the right direction using the teachings of Buddha. So I would, again, my heart goes to Hamaduru, all Hamaduru, in fact, in, in, in the temple, for giving us this opportunity to educate our children this great Dhamma teachings, for them to practice and become good citizens and valuable people, good people. So for that, I would pay my gratitude from the bottom of my heart on behalf of all the children and the parents to all harm the world, wishing good health and happiness their own suffering. Now we are moving on to today's children's presentations and uh, let's hear what you have got to say on the second day of present celebrations. And I will pass on to the first person 
a chat to start the presentations. Thank you. Anyone saw an eye? Today, I would like to talk about how Milan Mihintade is very important in the Sri Possum 40 Day celebrations and, and what the history behind Mihintade. As we all know, um, Buddhism first spread to Sri Lanka but from Mihintade. When King when Arham Mahinda um, met met King De Vanam Piyatissa, yeah, which inaugurated the presence of Buddhism in the other nation of what to become Sri Lanka. This is um, Ambasta La pa Pagoda, and this is widely considered the most exact spot spot well, of where uh, um, Alhan Mahinda first met King De, De Ranampitissa. It houses many relics of Alhan Mahinda. Yeah. And hence, it's a very sacred spot for well, Buddhists in Sri Lanka for this reason. This is a close-up picture. Sure. Yeah. Another place of interest in Mihintali are stone inscriptions near the refractory. So what is the refractory? Well, it's a special meeting hall where many Buddhists came together uh, and Buddhist monks to discuss and talk about the teachings of the Buddha or aka the Dhamma. Uh, uh. Here's a little bit close up. We're now moving on to the um, Kandika Chaitya. The Kandika Chaitya is very interesting. It is a very large stupa, around 425 feet wide. It has four statues called Raha Ladika, the, and there is one in each of the directions of north, south, east and west. To the north, north, north there is the lion, lion. To the west, it is the horse. The bull, it is the south, and the elephant is to the east. East. <laughs> Most people, especially people in Sri Lanka and India, believe that there is a relationship between animals and the directions. But for normal associations of animals with certain directions, they seem to be different. This is a close-up picture of Kantika Chaitya. Yeah. Overall, this is now this is Mihintai, and and all the things, all the three places I told you is on this rock. During Possum Poi Day. Many people climb up these special steps, stone steps, that were built over thousands of years ago. And people usually go up to the top of this rock 
no matter what the weather and what employer do. Thanks to these metro poles installed fairly recently. Around here is Alahan Mahinda's cave, which is where he resided in the Hintali. Tilon Sarnai. Thank you. Today I'm going to present a body uh, related to the person for a day. Sadhu, 
Thank you, Rayonaya. Anu putu mihin tu himi kene kiane ane. Sri Lanka wate putu dahama ragena wadema kalle mihin tu maha rahatan wahanse. Un wahanse ke pia dharma shoka rajatumai mau dewi bisawai. Sangamita Terunia Unuhan Sega Soho Yurai Lankawa Palane Kala Deunama Piatisa Rajutuma Udu Dahama Waland Gata Rajutuma Wehera Vihara Well Idi Kala Kateam Kala Wichitra Kala Bruha Karmanta Tikala Kantewan Mahana Karana Sangamita Terinaya Wandamana Gatte Sangamita Terinaya Jaya Sri Mahabodhi Mohansteda Ragena Lankawata Nawadamakala Dam suwadin piri, lak diwa dile tutini, kateam kala piri, wehera sangga piri warata piduni. Meti ene anubudu mihindu imi yanggi citraya. Teruan Saturday. Thank you, Channel Diaki. I am Senanya. Today I am going to talk about the importance of the rival of Mahinda Tero to Sri Lanka on Bhopal Royal Day. It is significant and special because King Ashoka sent Arahant Mahinda Tero to introduce Buddhism to Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan King Devanam Piyatis bet Mahinda Tero at Nihintala Rock while the King was hunting a deer. After accepting Buddhism by King Devanam Piyatis, Sri Lankan people adjust their lifestyle according to five precepts called Pansis and became more civilized in nature. Education, agricultural, economic system, social values and culture, and which with temples and which Buddhist teachings and thoughts. Concept of Vavai Daga by Gamai Pansala built because of Buddhism. Concept of equality of Buddhism caused to build harmonized unique society in Sri Lanka. Thank you, Teruan Saran. The benefit of Buddhism on Sri Lanka society. Over 2,000 years ago, on Prasam Pumun Fire Day, Mayinda Tero arrived to Sri Lanka. The most important thing we, we received from this is Buddhism. There are so many impacts to Sri Lanka society. One of them is writing and scripts. Before Buddhism could arrive to Sri Lanka, there were no evidence of proper writing. Then Mayinda Tero may made a new system of writing the Brahmi script. With the help of this script, Mayinda Tero made the Singhali Kata. This is used to explain the teaching and the suttas. The, the
the modern Singhalese script was was developed from that. Terence and I. Hello everyone, today I will be talking about architecture in Buddhism. Buddhism in Sri Lanka. With the introduction of Buddhism, Sri Lanka has a, had a few new changes. They were new religion, new occasions, disciplines, new education and cultural habits, such as meditating, spending more time going to temples, and worshipping Lord Buddha and giving offerings. However, today I will be going ahead with talking about why is architecture the most important in Buddhism. Architecture is the most important thing in Buddhism because architectures make temples where people go to worship Lord Buddha and also give offerings. And the Sri Mahabodhi Temple was the most famous Buddhist architecture in Sri Lanka. There were also three types of structures that are associated with the very religious architecture of a bit of early Buddhism. These three structures are the harbors, which means monasteries, then the places too was where you respect relics, stupas, and there is one stupa called the Alcana stupa, and finally churches or prayer hallways, jaipias. And one Jaipya is, is the Ruan Ruan Rose, and then it, it, and then a little bit later, it was named temples in a few places. Thank you for listening. Now one summer night. Thank you, Manuka Mali. A benefit that Buddhism has affected Sri Lanka is the agriculture and architecture. After Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka, King Devan and Pitisa. King Devan and Pitisa asked for many stupas and pagodas to be built, such as the Mahastupa, which was dedicated to Arahat Mahinda. One of these builds is called Vesagiriya. Vesagiriya is located near Anuradhapura and used to, to house 500 different monks back in its day. Devanampiyadissa also established the construction of Tuparama, the first historical Dagirba, which enshrined the right collarbone of the Buddha. As you have just heard, Devanam Pietisa sounds like a pretty important guy to Buddhism, right? Well, you're underestimating him because he also transformed Sri Lanka's agriculture. That's right, Aya. He changed all of the spare housing places that were unnecessary and turned them into fields of paddy. This is why Sri Lanka produces over 117.8 million metric tons of it every year. Devanam Pietisa 
also introduced an irrigation system that meant people could get water whenever they liked and they would be able to water crops to produce food, even if there is no rainfall for the rain fed cultivation. Some of these systems include the Tissa River and the Nuara River, which are, which are one of the hugest reservoirs in Sri Lanka. If these irrigation systems were not introduced to Sri Lanka, then the animals and the wildlife would not be able to drink if they are thirsty and eventually die out because of thirst. Trees would also be victims as their leaves would not get food and they would fall off, causing the trees to become deciduous. Did you know that the Parakrama Samudra, one of the most famous reservoirs in Sri Lanka, consists of five different water tanks? It is so large, they called it a Samudra Ocean for a very good reason. The Sea of King Parakrama was built under the quote, do not let even a drop of rainwater in this country to go to the sea without use. In this life, this specific samudra never let down its purpose, even today, tomorrow, and possibly the future. Thank you for listening. Get a one Saturday night. Thank you for the Aya and the Dinanans Akka. Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka by Arahat Mahinda Tero due to the religious propaganda by Emperor Dhammasoka and advice guidance of Arahat Mungali for the Dissa. This can be described as a turning point of the history in Sri Lanka. King Devanampia Dissa and his people aware of the essence of Buddhism. Then the Society of Buddhist Monks was established soon after Mahinda Gamanaya. Instead of believing in and worshipping yakkas, nagas, demons, the sun, trees and fire, people began to follow the principles of Buddhism and to observe punishing. They realized killing Lying, stealing, and drinking alcohol is a bad life. So then they try to do good jobs instead of killing animals, selling alcohol and meat. So gradually they become farmers in the agricultural background by growing rice, fruits, and vegetables by themselves. But after that, lots of people are split into groups to do several jobs uh, during the agricultural background, like making equipment for the paddy fields and packing up uh, the rice, fruits and vegetables to the shops. Nowadays, the productives of some Sri Lankan foods is higher than you say. So farmers decide to export their products to countries around the world. And because of this, Sri Lanka became a very famous, famous country. That's why my sister told you at the beginning that it is a turning point of the history in Sri Lanka. They don't want Saranai. Thank you, Metal and Mahini. Over seven to Buddha Saranai. Terodiga Mutu Eta Yanao Messiri Laka Satvaga Paspavin Veluna Pere Kaleka Dasa Diga Danan Gas Galpidu Ven Sueka Damag Poson Dinayak Today I'll be talking about Mihindu Maharatan Vanse, 
Mihindu Maharaj Danvanse was the firstborn son of Emperor Ashoka and his wife Devi, and the elder brother of and he was the elder brother of Sangamitra. Arhat Mahinda was sent as a Buddhist missionary to the Anuradhapura Kingdom in Sri Lanka. Then Arhat Mahinda attained, attained the title of Arhat and resided at Mihintale. He played an important role in planting Buddhism throughout Sri Lanka. When King Ashoka became king, Arhat Mahinda was 14 years old and was ordained as a Buddhist monk at the age of 20 as a disciple of Arhant Moggali Potatissa. It is believed that he became an Arhant on the day of his ordination. Arhant Mahinda mastered the teachings of the Buddha and became head of a community of a thousand monks. Sangamita, who was two years younger than Mahinda, also ordained herself as a Buddhist nun. Thiruvan Saranai. Thank you, Diniti and Kaveen Mandi. To start our presentation, let's observe the five precepts. Panati pata vedramani sikka padang samadhyami. Do not harm or kill living beings. Adinna dana vedramani sikka padang samadhyami. Do not steal. Kame sumicha chara veda mani sikka padam samadhyami. Do not lie. Musavada veda mani sikka padam samadhyami. Do not take intoxicants. Surame re majapamadatana veda mani sikka padam samadhyami. Do not take intoxicants. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Did you know, Akka, that if it wasn't for Mihindu Hamaduru, then we may not have these golden rules. We might still be worshipping the sun and moon. Of course, Buddhism was very useful to de for developing our spiritual and mental well-being. Malli, do you remember the Parabhava Sutra, which taught us 12 causes of our down to, for our downfall? Yes, Sakka. But not only that, the Lord Buddha also preached 38 blessings, the Mangala Sutra, that one can have. For example, looking after your parents, associating with the wise, having patience, and having a good be and having a good education. All these two lead to you having a blessed life. We are very fortunate to live our life according to the golden rules that Mihindu Hamtero brought to Sri Lanka. Therefore, with the respect we give to the Triple Gem, let us take our palms together and venerate and show our respect and veneration towards Mihindu Hamtero on this possum full moon for your day. Thank you for listening. Teruan Saranai. So today I'm going to talk about the Chulahati Padopama Sutra. Arahat Mahinda Tera <clears throat> deli delivered the discourse on Chulahati Padopama Sutra to King Devanam Piyatissa on top of the Min Mihintale rock on Posampoya Day. At the end of the discourse, the king and his re retinue of 40,000 40, people embraced the new teaching and took refuge in Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. Trilahati Pad Padapama Sutra is a sutra in the Majhima Nikaya that clearly explains the path to Nibbana, the ultimate goal of a Buddhist. This sutta comprises most of all the teachings of the Buddha, such as the Eightfold Path and the Four Noble Truths. It gives a clear understanding of the Triple Gem. It gives us a clear understanding about how, how a follower recognizes the Samma Sambuddha, Hood of the Buddha, by active involvement in the path. In 
Chilati Padapam Sutra, the Buddha gave the simile of the elephant's footprints to understand the Dhamma step by step, using an analogy analogy of a skilled elephant forester finding a big bull elephant. The Buddha explained the way this, the way the disciple the disciple should follow to find the truth to a Brahmin named Janasoni, who met the Buddha with a real desire desire to understand the Buddha's teachings. A big bull elephant could be identified only by going to the place where it is lying, walking or standing. Likewise, in order to identify the Sammasambhada, one person should necessarily go to him in person. The Buddha explained that if a person realises the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, the way to Nibbana, as shown by the Buddhas, he or she could realise that the Buddha is enlightened and his Dhamma well discoursed and well observed by the Sangha. Buddhism offers the goal of Nibbana to those who need it and is not forced on any forced on any. Those who prefer to achieve this goal are perfectly free to do so. Thank you for listening. Teron Sarano. Thank you, Seth Marley. I was Raham Drone. Shri Buddha Varsha, the city is higher. Poson Pura Pasolo Saka Pohoda, Anu Buddha Mihidu Maharahatam Vahanse, Lakti Veta Tera Vadi Buddhama Hadun Madunha. It dear, Ut dear, Sambala, but the Sala Yana Rahatam Vahanse la Satara Nama. Shut Abigna la be Sumana Samane Rayan Vahanse. Bandukanam anagami upasakatumat yana raja kiya dharma dutta perisa mehidu maharahatam vahanse samaga mehisapat uha. Sri Sambuddha parinirvane vasara disia daha takata pasua palaloop nora ashoka ramiedi tevani dharma sangaya nava pavatuni. Mogali putta tisa maharahatam vahanse mehipurdane. Pradhanatve deru atar Maharahatam Vahansela Dahas Namak Sahabagi Uha Dharma Shoka Adiraja Pradhana Daikatve Deri Memetaveni Dharma Sangaya Naven Sidhu Mahangi Pratipale Nam Etek Dambadiva Simita Pradeshek Pamana Paviti Budu Dahama Evakata Dani Siti Rataval Navekata Dharma Dutayak Margam prachare kotahari mai. Swati putra vi mihitu maharahata vahanse. Pramoka rajaki ya duta pirisakma. Me ratata pitat kotahari men. Pahadila vanuye. Dharma shoka adirajya laktiva kerehi. Swasheshi avadanayak yumukala bavai. Buddha the hama vani. Shrestu the hama. Sri lankika apata. Uruma Vuye Mahinda Gamane Nisaya Palakian Mem Janatava Asimva Asin Vidanat Maka Agamika Vishwasa Velin Beheravu Budu Dahama Velenda Ganimat E Anua Upper Sankruti Sakas Vima Siduia Budu Dahama Nisa Upper Telabunu Daya the Nam Eker Sri Lankiki Bixu Parapura Bihivi Deke Sarvagni datu tampat kota stupa idivima Tuna Vehira vihara idivima Hatara Bauta puda puja kramayak etivima Paha Deshi sahitia portion e vima Hai Adiapane sanvardene at a patvima Mahinda gamanian apal under diad diad rashian keepayak pamani Mema Agameka Daya the Arakshakara Ganima Apahama Denipigema you to come away. Teruan Sarana. Good evening. Today I'm gonna present some of the important the religious and religious changes after uh, Araham Hindu's 
trip to Sri Lanka. One of them was writing the whole of the three Tithakaya for the first time in history. Another thing was arts and crafts. Establishment of stupa and craftsmanship in moonstones or sadda kadda pahala in, in temples. Further professions such as pottery, farming and paddy field cultivations were improved were in, were improved by the by the craftsman craftsman's ships knowledge who travel on or after arahadni hindus visit Thiruvan Sadanai. Good. Uh, that's the uh, end of the children's presentation uh, is there anyone who would like to talk I would like to see everyone's camera on Rayom, Sachit, Monara, Diniti. Okay. Um, well done again for all of you. Um, so all of you have um, given a good presentation and uh, we learned from each other a lot about buddhism and the significances of possum um it was uh ramin's birthday today so that's why he has sent a, a video uh, and that shows that how dedicated he is uh, to uh, complete his homework and even though he's not joining us today live i would uh, say thank you to him for completing his homework and also we would also like to wish him happy birthday and uh, may triple gem bless him and probably we'll um, sing happy birthday to him uh, when he joins us next time right well done again um so it's time for us to uh, discuss any questions if you have in relation to today's topic or anything else you have in your mind? Anyone has got any questions? Looks like, oh yeah, metal. So how did the print of Buddha's feet go on uh, go on Mihintalaya? Because it's all rock. Ask that question again, Mithul, please. How could Buddha's feet feet print be on, on Mihintalaya? Because it's a rock. Like it can't. If it's if his feet were muddy, muddy a bit, then it would be true. But I yeah. Look, if his feet were muddy, then the mud would have gone over time. So, and because Buddha would have grown to be very tall when he was enlightened, he might have put his weight on his foot to engrave his footprint in the Mihintale rock. That's my theory. Um, I don't so, so it's like, um, because of his weight, it like, it put... A um, little mark on the ground of Buddha's feet. Like the weight. It pushes down on the rock. Yeah. Yeah. So there are lots of ideas. Anyone else has any other idea? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, 
I just wanted to say like about the uh, the Buddha uh, putting his foot on the rock. Um, as we know, a rock is a very solid material. Um, um, I bet my dad, he's six foot four, he's pretty tall. If he, if he stood on like a rock, I don't, I don't think that uh, it will like kind of engrave. I, but I do, I still do think that theory might be true because um, the Buddha might have grown like to be like very, very, very tall, and then probably his yeah, his his weight would like go onto the rock, and then it would probably go down a bit. So yeah, that's what I think about it. Thank you, sir. I have a question. Anyone else? Yeah, Rayon. Yeah, I think it's the power of the Buddha. Hmm. Interesting. What? Yeah. What is that power called? Rayon? I don't really know. Okay. Yeah, how's it doing? Is it called psychic powers? Uh, <clears throat> how can psychic power imprint a footprint on, on a rock? Can you think of? <laughs> With them? The Dhamma, because he is enlightened and the Dhamma is in him, so he could have used the power of the Dhamma to engrave his footprint. Right, that's one idea. Seth, do you have anything? Seth. Um, psychic. Uh, that means like, uh, I think it goes like against like the laws of physics. I don't know if that's true, but like, yeah. Um, so psychic powers, I don't know really. It's just, I think that uh, I it might have been psychic powers, but I mostly think it now uh, it's the buddha's power like because he was enlightened and he he probably thought that um people could like see this probably i could just leave a mark here right psychic means from the mind okay i really don't know the answer to that question i have a question um we'll have to find out actually what really has happened? Yeah, with them. Um, uh, when Buddha was born, he had 12 spots on both of his feet. Um, but when he was enlightened, he had markings on the bot on his um on the bottom of his feet. Does that relate to anything? Is that a relation or is it just the enlightenment? So the question goes back to uh, Methul and Mehli. So what kind of mark was it, uh, Methul? It was uh, the foot, and I think it uh, Buddha left like a golden foot mark. Yeah, yeah gold. Because uh, in Mihintalaya, there's a statue, there's uh, the feet of that it's golden. Yeah. And there's lots of symbols under it. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you very much for all of your feedback. I would uh, kindly pass it back to Hamdur for Hamdur's feedback. Thank you very much, Rasikaya, for putting the children to have a discussion. That was very interesting questions, comments from 
all the children a lot of things to think that's very good that you have the interest of finding it out more i uh, hope you would really enjoy more of those knowledge about uh, how those footprint came in and likewise uh, buddha is a very powerful person a spiritually highly powerful person he was able to do a lot of psychic powers but he did not encourage those to be done because those are not helpful for certain occasions he was doing some yes he was born with special marks in his body in his feet and uh, to say that he is a very special person those marks mainly signifies a lot of good deed he was doing throughout the samsara like uh, he was uh, selflessly teaching as a result he let he got a lot of confidence and as a form of showing that he had physical signs because he did lot of uh, uh, being truthful to show that he was having different uh, marks or signs in his body he was uh, practicing as few of mention here five precepts morality as a result he got different signs so the body signs are very special that uh, source the previous actions that we have been we, he has been doing and also we have been doing it shows it um as rasika ya mentioned that uh, ramin's birthday today <laughs> even though his birthday he did not miss the dhamma school contribution um so therefore that is how we would like every children to do so we need to be uh, consistent in our dhamma practice Rasika has said that uh, we would sing uh, to next week when he is back. Uh, let's also do the singing now and send it to him that we were been thinking of him and appreciating of his um, on his day. Hmm? So uh, perhaps uh, let us uh, play this and send it to him that we were thinking of him joining in distance about his birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you so we need to look after each other and to celebrate each other's special locations in their lives so that uh, we become very humble children uh, while we are getting a lot of moral spiritual developments you need to live in the real world as well that is very therapeutic as well otherwise you think just only yourself and not about others you know our parents remember all of uh, children's birthdays how many of children here remember your parents birthday 
<laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Yes. So let us practice few minutes meditation. Today is our full moon day. You all had the opportunity to ask question. I know Methuli and Meheli is wanted to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> we'll practice few minutes meditation. You know, miracle in meditation, when you practice meditation, all your questions answer comes into your mind. So when you have a problem, just meditate. That uh, answer come to your mind. Very powerful. Powerful thing called meditation. So let us practice few minutes meditation. Selecting a comfortable position that you can keep your body Relax and still for a few minutes. Keep the body relatively calm by experiencing simply the sitting. and make your upper back relatively straight. Otherwise, the laziness, tiredness, sleepiness can take you over. Keep your head and the neck in a central point. Place your right palm on the left palm, both palms in the lap. Both hands goes on to rest on your lap. So that you can relax your shoulders and relax the whole body. Don't tightly hold any part of the body. Let every part of the body to be relaxed, at ease. This is called still meditation to clear our mind, rest our body. Whatever comes to your mind, just let them go, put them aside and repeatedly experience your sitting here in the present moment. It's, it's good that you can keep your eyes very gently, not tightly holding, gently close to make, to get more concentration. Just being very, very simple to keep your mind at ease, relax. Simply by being in the present moment. You may feel like moving on, frigidity, sort of other moments. But just notice it and let it go.
experience that slowly, slowly your body is relaxing, your mind is being getting more clearer and focused. Then notice your abdomen. See the movements happening in your abdomen. Rising of the abdomen. Falling of the abdomen. Rising of the abdomen. <coughs> falling of the abdomen. As you breathe in, it rises up. As you breathe out, it falls. Just observe rising of the abdomen, pausing, falling of the abdomen. Rising of the abdomen, falling of the abdomen. Just keep your attention all the time with the movements of your abdomen. That is a very powerful technique to train the mind to develop the concentration. After a few minutes later, your mind may go into other things. If that happens, just bring your mind back onto it. Being able to repeatedly, repeatedly continue watching the rising and falling of the abdomen. Then when you see that you can see everything subject to change, 
as the rising and falling of the abdomen means nothing stay the same. All change. And you develop more and more your attention, your concentration. That way you empower the mind a lot. Slow it down, slow your abdomen, slowly rising. Slowly falling. Let your abdomen slowly rising. Fall for a few seconds and let it slowly fall in. Rising. Falling. Slow it a bit down, so it is the rising of the abdomen very, very slowly. Falling of the abdomen very, very slowly. Now let us practice few minutes loving kindness meditation. Repeat silently in the mind. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be free from anger. May I be free from hatred. May I be free from envy. May I be free from suffering. May I maintain my well-being. May I attain spiritual bliss. As I am, 
me my parents my family our friends our monks our temple our community our teachers our neighbors all those who i like and even those who are difficult i do not like i eliminate my dislikeness in my heart and share my loving kindness to them all may all beings be well may all beings be happy may all beings be peaceful may all beings be free from anger may all beings be free from hatred May all beings be free from envy. May all beings be free from suffering. may all beings maintain their well-being may all beings attain spiritual bliss now practice one minute in silent meditation to finish our meditation today noticing your breath slowly in keep the gentle smile on your face as you breathe out relax in the whole body breathe slowly in with a gentle smile and breathe very gently and slowly out relax in the body Stay one minute in silent meditation.
slowly open the eyes and continue to keep the body calm and relax. Bring the palms jointly together close to our heart. And let us be grateful for the teachings, the programs, the blessings for the venerable monks, for those who sponsor today, and also all the children, particularly all the parents. I can see that behind you, your parents are doing a lot of work to support you, to make sure your video is at the right place, to make sure that you get the right scripts, right, homework done, make sure that everything goes smoothly. I can see a lot of their hard work. So we are very grateful to your parents. And also to our birthday boy today, Rami. We are very thoughtful of him, wishing him happiness and good luck, good health. And finally, our children, all of you, may you all be well, happy, and peaceful. Bearing that in your heart, let us share our blessing by saying three times together, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you very much. Rasika, I will let you know next week what we're going to do. And look forward to see you next week. Um, yeah, we'll, let you, we'll let you know what we're going to do. We can, I'll, uh, we'll decide the topics that we are going to talk. Um, before that, just wanted to mention one thing. Um, now, the question raised by Metalan Mehele was really good. Um, I was thinking, according to the answers that were given, I thought of saying this. Now, we were um, more worried about how that mark was done. <laughs> and we were concerning about Buddha's physical appearance. But I want you to pay attention to a different direction, and that is Dhamma. Buddha told himself, if you really want to see me, study Dhamma, get to know Dhamma, understand Dhamma, then you will see real me. Yeah? So it's good that you come across these questions but I want you to pay more attention to studying Dhamma so, we'll, so you will see the real Buddha. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll That's see. very good. Uh, we did a full program on uh, all these characteristics. I think uh, the first week of the Vesa, if you listen to that YouTube, Yes. You will uh, explain, as I mentioned, Buddha was once staying with someone. He couldn't understand that was Buddha. He couldn't identify by physically he was the Buddha. So if the Buddha was all sort of marks and signs and kind of a completely different person physically, he could have instantly identified the Buddha. But there were some special signs like your eyebrows, your eyes, your ears. Some ears are long, some ears are short. Now, there are some signs. It's a good subject in India. They normally read, yeah, Mehali is looking at the screen to see if she can find some extra signs. So, <laughs> so likewise, there are some, there are body language, like your palms. Your palm has different 
uh, mark some people can. So as Rasikaya said, don't get lost in all these things because those are not what Buddha really want us to follow. Buddha want us to follow the two, three things. You know, when people were making those statues, especially um, uh, kind of artist, they try to figure them out. They try to show them out, out of devotion, not really the out of purpose. But it is okay to do that as an artist. But what Rasikaya mentioned is a very important thing that don't lose your faith saying that these are not important. It has a part, you know. Don't think those are not important at all. It, it is important part. But most important part is to reflect on the teachings what Buddha us to practice. When you go to the Sri Pada, Adam speak in Sri Lanka, pay all the respect, bow down, pay, do the offerings, do the rituals and everything. But don't get lost only in that. Don't just continue worshipping the pagodas only. Why? By worshipping the pagoda, just look at the structure and see the no, four noble truth, eightfold path, samsara, and all these concepts in it, then you would be gaining more out of it. Some people are just only one very narrow-minded. They just get lost in all these concepts or rituals. And it, it is important to an extent, not fully. That's, isn't that uh, right, Rasika? Thank you, Hamdurne, giving that uh, explanation. It really clears children's mind. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for explaining it further. Yes. Thank you. We did the one Dhamma talk called Deathis Mahapurusha Lakshana yes. on the uh, first week of Vesaku. It is on our YouTube. Yes. So when you want to draw a picture of Buddha, you got to put that all in. But he was a very simple person like you and me. But what is incomparable, his wisdom, his compassion, his great qualities in life, virtues, those are exception. Okay, thank you very much. And it's nine o'clock. We'll see you next week. Buddha Saranai, Teruan Saranai. Teruan Saranai Hamdurane. Teruan Saranai Hamdurane. Saranai. Teruan Saranai Hamdurane. Teruan Saranai Saranai.